Hey everyone, it's Stacey and I'm so excited about today's video. I'm going to be doing the unboxing of my brand new sewing machine, my dream sewing machine, the Juki TL2010Q. I've been crushing on it for about six months. But during that six months, I've been researching about the machine and the best place to purchase it because it's a big purchase and I was a little bit worried about things like warranties and what if I have a few troubles and what have you. So I'm really excited to say I found who I think are the ideal company to purchase it from here in the USA, Juki Junkies. I was absolutely blown away with their customer service. First thing I do need to tell you is I did purchase this sewing machine. It was not free. I'm not being paid to do this video. However, they have made me an affiliate, which means if you purchase one with my coupon code, Lee2022, I'll get a very small commission. You'll get 1% off, which is not a lot, but they're not allowed to offer big discounts off these machines, but you will get a free gift. So we both win. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you what's inside the box, do an unboxing, a few of the basic features which I love, and a little bit more about Juki Junkies. So before I just absolutely die of excitement, let's get the sewing machine opened. Now, take a look at this. Juki Junkies is so cute. You get a little warning sticker on your box. Warning, you're about to experience happiness. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Let's open up this box. I'm so excited. <laughs> now I'm probably gonna need some help from my husband because I do believe they are a very heavy machine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. What do we have in here? business card and you're going to need that it's got their phone number and with them you can ring them if you have any troubles whatsoever and did you know if you're having any sort of trouble maybe it's not stitching correctly you can actually take a small video and send it to them and they will help troubleshoot it for you so that was one of the very many reasons why I loved them and wanted to go with them this is um, a little form about glide I know that's a thread brand that they really love. I'm hoping to try it because it's a lot more affordable than the Aurifil that I've been using. And then there's a little note on here. Congrats on your new Juki TL2010. You'll love it. Enjoy. So yay. So personable. I just love it. Okay. And I've got my receipt. Niels is recording, but I did buy a few extra feet. So we'll just put that away. <laughs> I've got the warranty and the manual here. It is important to go through the manual. I know a lot of people don't like to, but you know you're gonna maybe pick up a few things you didn't even realize that the sewing machine did. But we won't go through that right now. Okay, so like I said, I did buy a few extra feet. Um, because you guys generally like to fo focus on quilting, I grabbed all the feet that would really help with that and I will do a, a video, a much more detailed video on the feet. So I'm just going to pop those aside and I've got some thread here. Yay! That was my little free gift from Juki, Juki Junkies that is. And this is a even feed guide. So one thing I really loved about the Juki machine was you get a guide. So you guys know that I only really like to do straight line quilting. Well, what it does is it attaches onto your foot. I should be showing you this later and I will. Um, it attaches onto your foot and from what I can see in the videos, it doesn't move around. You know, with the usual guide that you get with your even feed foot, it kind of bumps around and you have to keep measuring to check that it hasn't moved anywhere. Well, this is not gonna do that, but I will do a video on that exactly. Sorry, I'm rambling, I'm too excited. Okay, another foot. Oops, might've gone a bit overboard. Now I did grab a couple of spare packs of bobbins because you know that I love to wind a lot at one time. So these are five packs. So I just grabbed two extra packs of bobbins. All right, so here we go. So this is our knee lifter. This lifts up the presser foot. I'll show you that shortly. We've got our pedal and that also has a cutter in it. So if you press down, I believe, on the front, it cuts your thread, or there's also a button to cut your thread. Okay. Am 
another little doodacky. Oh, and these are all the accessories that it comes with. Um, so as the machine has dropped down in price, I believe it started at $16.99, I've noticed that you get less and less accessories. So if you watched an unboxing from like five years ago, they would have got way more feet than you get now. So I will go through that so you know exactly what you're going to get in your machine. All right, I've got some more glide thread, yay. And a white, you guys know I love white. Right, oh, oh my gosh, this is so cute, guys. So Juki Junkies, every time you purchase something, you get a little critter and they're collectible. Now, if you're a real true Juki Junkie, you collect these. And then over on the Facebook group, every now and then they do like competitions and you like set up like little scenes and take photos of your critters that you've collected and the best photo wins a prize. They do that every now and then, which I thought is really fun. And obviously I've got a Santa because it's about to be Christmas time. This is my Christmas present from my husband or the ongoing joke is it's actually my husband's Christmas present that I'm gonna borrow. <laughs> okay, so here we have the extension table. Now you do get an extension table generally with any machine that says it is a cooking machine. Um, I personally don't use them, but they are really handy if you're quilting something like if you're actually quilting the quilt, it definitely is handy then. Um, I guess the reason why I don't use it so much is I, I don't like to kind of be feeling like I'm sitting up and sewing. Um, but like I said, if you're, if you're quilting a really big quilt, they are handy. And then I'll show you how that slots on in a minute. It's got little adjustable feet. Okay. Sorry, I shouldn't have opened these all up, but there you go, I have. And then there's a little door here. I'm not even sure how it works. Oh, it just opens up because the bobbin goes in on the side, guys, not on the top. So that's a little access door to get to your bobbin when it's attached to your sewing machine. So I'll show you how that works a little bit later. All right. So I think I'm just going to have to cut right now and get my husband to help me lift it out of the box. So we've taken it out of the box. I found a few more little goodies. I've got my own little Juki Junkie sticker, which I would like to say I'll stick on my sewing machine, but I'm a bit OCD with things like that. Like I, I don't think I can. I'll probably put it on a notebook or something, but it is super cute. Your power cable, which you're going to need, of course. And I'm excited now I don't have to use like an international light transformer power thing for my Australian sewing machine. And you do get a dust cover. Let me just quickly open this up. I use my machine so much, I don't actually use a dust cover. But you know, like if you've got a whole range of them and you kind of use which one's best for whatever job you're doing, you might have a couple. And it's quite thick, um, quite a nice sturdy cover. And it does have a little opening here for your handle. So you can pop it on and move your machine around with the cover on. Okay, so the machine came with a polystyrene wrapped around it really nicely. I'm just going to pop that aside, but what I am going to do is I'm going to pop this back in the box and keep the box safe in case for any reason I need to send it back. I don't imagine I will, I don't ever want to, but you just never know. So just to make my life easier, I will keep that. And you know, that was loud. Uh, perhaps you're moving state or country. It's just a really nice way to make sure it's really nice and safe and secure when you're moving because it is your new baby. So let's reveal the new baby. Ta-da! There you go, guys. Oh, it's super heavy. My new baby. Isn't she pretty? The Juki TL 2010Q. Okay, now I feel like I need to come around to the front so I can see what I'm doing. I'll just take this off. This is just um, to protect it from moisture, I believe. So for every TL model that you purchase at Juki Junkies, what they do is they open up the machine, they thread it, they test that it's stitching really nicely, they get all the tension correct for you, 
and they leave a little sample here so you know exactly how your sewing machine should be stitching when it is stitching perfectly and properly and then of course this thread is all left here for you so you can just have a quick look to see how it should be threaded correctly of course you've got your manual but it is nice to just sort of have it in there all ready to go so what you could do is take your thread follow it through and then follow this through taking it out as you're going around knowing that you're threading it correctly for the very first time now if you're purchasing another machine from Dookie Junkies, they will still do this, but you just have to ask. But this is something they do especially for the TL series, because we do have this really fancy industrial subtension system here to get your tension right. So that's probably something that people struggle with the most. So they make sure it comes to you perfect right off the bat. So I've already shown you the larger accessories that come with the sewing machine. I did just want to show you what comes in the bag, especially the feet, because that's what I was really interested in knowing exactly what came with this sewing machine. So you get a standard flathead screwdriver. You get this exclusive Juki screwdriver that actually has three sides that do different things. For example, this one here is for the bobbin. It helps you tighten and loosen the bobbin. It's critical to not lose this because it's super useful. I believe it also undoes the screws here on your foot plate, so don't lose that. And then we've got oil. So this is a fully mechanical sewing machine. There's no computerized parts, so you do need to oil it. It's super easy. I believe there's about six different holes that you pop one drop of oil in, and they recommend you do that approximately, I think it's every four to six hours of sewing. So that's super easy, but something you do need to bear in mind if you're considering this sewing machine you get a spool cap and that's to go on top of your thread if you've just got a little spool and that just helps stopping it from bobbing around you get four spare needles which is a nice little add-on there you get a little cleaning brush and these are super easy to clean yourself i won't go into it but there's lots of doors you can open and give it a good clean yourself uh, you get four spare bobbins and they are metal I think you're going to need some more. I grabbed two extra packs. And then we have an adjustable zipper foot. Now, something else to be aware of with the sewing machine is the needle does not move. I know I use a brother and the needle, I can jig it over just a tiny little titchy bit, left and right, or I can move it over a lot. And that's how I get my seam allowances perfect. With this sewing machine, you are not moving that needle. You are using feet and the different guides to get those perfect seam allowances. So for example, this zipper foot, it moves to the left and to the right. So you'd put it, you'd attach it and then move it to whichever side you needed it on. So we're not moving needles, we're moving feet with this sewing machine. Then we get a quarter inch quilting foot and this is for your free motion quilting. I believe the sewing machine is absolutely awesome for free motion quilting and that's also when that extension really, sorry, that extension table really comes onto its own when you're doing that free motion quilting. And then we get an even feed foot or I usually refer to it as a walking foot and this is actually really nice and heavy and a really nice thing to have because if like if I didn't get it with the machine, I'd have to be purchasing it again. And as you know, I love to do my straight line quilting. So I'm really glad this comes with the machine. So that was what came in the bag. So it's actually the next day now, guys. Life took over and I had family commitments. But what's happened in the last 24 hours is I got my sewing machine all set up. I made a few pouches for my first tutorial on my new sewing machine. And I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to see it. And then overnight when I was sleeping, something happened, maybe fairies came in and moved around all the settings and then it just suddenly wouldn't stitch right. And I just panicked and then I thought, I know what I can do. I can ring Juki Junkies and that's exactly what I did. I rang, I spoke to David. Now Juki Junkies is a family-based business down in Florida. David was super helpful. He told me to send him some, uh, sorry, not YouTube videos. He told me to send him some videos he had a look at the problem. He helped me troubleshoot it. He then even got his sister involved, Boki. She got on the phone with me and we sorted it all out. And I'm happy to say that my sewing machine is stitching really well again. I am going to say that something that I probably underestimated and didn't realize exactly how much this tension system is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. And that was my problem. 
But I'm happy to say that I feel like I've got the best support to help me learn how to do that. I feel like I can ring them whenever I need to. And that's one of the things that Juki Junkies really pride themselves on. They pride themselves on their education. They have a lot of YouTube videos themselves explaining how to thread, how to do all the different things, all the different feet. And they also will help you work out the best sewing machine for you. Perhaps you're thinking this might not be the best one for you. Perhaps your budget's a little bit bigger. This machine goes for around $9.99, but at the moment it's on sale for $8.99, which is actually not a bad price. Maybe you want to spend a bit more, or maybe you want to spend a bit less, or maybe you have different requirements. But one of the things they like to do is for you to ring them and let them know what you're after, and they'll work that out with you. So I can really hand on heart say, if you're going to be buying a sewing machine, a Juki sewing machine, I really think you should seriously consider going through Juki Junkies because you're not going to be disappointed. One last thing, I, I'm sorry, I know I'm going on, but my biggest concern was actually the warranty. Um, I'd actually contacted Juki and they said, yes, you do need to contact the person you've purchased your sewing machine off if there is a warranty issue and you need to send it back to them to have it fixed, okay? So what if you'd bought it on Amazon and you have no idea who you actually bought the machine off? Well, I, I really didn't want that. But then I thought, how on earth am I gonna get it back to Florida? So David ran me all through that. This is when I rang in the previous time. Poor David, spoken to me a lot on the phone recently, and he explained that he is in charge of all the warranty issues with Juki Junkies. What happens is, is he takes care of everything. You ring him, let him know what's going on and he'll take it from there. He will actually log your problem with Juki, Juki themselves, and sort it all out for you and then he'll just let you know what you need to do. And as far as the shipping goes, if it's sort of within that first month, they'll pay for the shipping. But let's say it's a year down the track. What they'll do is they'll work out the shipping cost for you at their great price because they're sending things all over the USA every single day and you pay that shipping price to get it down to Florida to their repair center, the Juki Repair Center, not Juki Junkies Center. That's also in Florida. But they'll um, give you their best price for that. He said it's usually around $30 to $50. And as long as your problem isn't a user error, Juki will usually send it back to you for free. Now that's just what he said. Your circumstances might be different. The prices might go up. The prices might come down. I'm just telling you what he told me just the other day, which really put me at ease that Juki Junkies was who I wanted to go through because I just have no doubt that if I have any problems, they're really going to be able to help me. So don't forget, if you would like to buy a machine with them, make sure you use my code LEE2022 so that you get that free gift with your purchase. Now let me just really run over quickly some of my favorite features of this machine. So my top three features that I really recommend to consider when you're deciding on a new machine and which of course this machine has is your speed control. This is really useful if you don't like to go too fast. The sewing machine sews super fast. It sews 1500 stitches in one minute. That might be a little bit fast for you so you can slow it down. You also need to slow down if you're doing your free motion quilting. So speed control is critical I think especially because this is such a fast sewing machine. Then of course the needle down function. I live by this function. I always have it on needle down. What that means is every time I'm sewing and I come to a stop, my needle is in the down position. And what that allows me to do is either turn my fabric or adjust it without anything moving. Then I like the thread cutter. Thread cutter just saves a lot of time, super handy. It also saves your thread. Now, one thing with the Juki is the thread cutter does come in the foot controller. So I'll just quickly show you the foot controller. So we push down forward to make it stitch. But then we push on the front part here to make it cut. And if you don't like that feature, you can actually get a little gadget that sits on it. I think it's around $10 so that you actually can't use the cutting feature because maybe that's not something you like. Now, one thing I didn't realize is it comes with this neat little system where you can actually wind the cord in when you're storing. I've actually never seen that with a foot. And that's just a nice little extra feature that that does come with. So it's got a super large throat or harp area. I'm not actually sure what the correct word is, but you know what I mean. This space here just means that we can roll our quilts up when we are quilting them and working on them. 
and it makes our life a lot easier. Now it does have an LED light and some people say that it's not bright enough. Juki Junkies actually sell an LED light system that you can pop in the harp here which will help lighten it up if you're finding that the lights aren't strong enough. I think that also depends on your sewing room or where you're sewing on the lighting in your room. One thing to note is the bobbin. Now the bobbin is on the side here and you open it up and it's got a metal holder here and a metal bobbin. So everything is metal. This is not plastic that you just throw away. If anything goes wrong, you replace that one part, you don't replace whole big pieces or even the machine. This is a semi-industrial sewing machine. It is going to last you many, many years. So it does have an automatic needle threader. A few people do say that it's really fiddly and hard to get working. I'm sure it's just a matter of making sure you are doing it correctly. We'll cover that at another time. So let me get the extension table and show you how that would work. So here's our extension table. I've got all the legs down and they are adjustable. You do get this knee lift lever and I'll show you how that works in a minute. But if you're not using it, you can clip it in here like so for storage. So that's kind of handy that you know they're both in the same place. Let me just get this table and slide it on. Just slides on like that and it just gives you a larger working area at the same level. I like to use this just when I'm quilting, not just for everyday sewing, quilting as in quilting the quilt. Now the bobbin is on the side, but what we have here is a little door. I showed you this earlier, which then allows you to get into your bobbin if you need to in the middle of quilting. So there we go. And one last thing I just quickly wanted to show you was how this knee lift lever works. So this is your knee lift lever. It goes in this little hole here. There's a couple of little doodackies. You push it in like that and now it's just in. What you do is with your knee you push it over to the right and it lifts up your foot here. So pushing it to the right and it's lifting up that foot which just means you don't have to get your hands and take it off your sewing and lift up that foot at the back if you find that useful. I've never used one. It's going to take a bit of getting used to but I think I will learn to love it. There are so many features to this machine just sitting here I've realized I forgot to tell you there's a handle, you can adjust the presser foot tension, there's just so many things but that's not the purpose of this video it was really was an unboxing and to let you know where I decided to purchase it from. One thing I might have forgotten to tell you was it only does a straight stitch we're not doing zigzags uh, we're just doing one straight stitch and that's why I wanted it because it has a reputation of being a perfect straight stitch every single time. What I plan to do is probably sell my older larger sewing machine that I actually paid more than even double for what I paid for this one. I plan to sell that, keep this and then just keep my smaller sewing machine for those odd occasions when I do need to do a zigzag or when I go away on a retreat or something. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please know that Juki Junkies has not paid me to say any of this and I did purchase this machine with my own money. It was definitely not given to me. However, I did actually turn down better offers. I was offered a free machine in exchange for hopefully people buying them through a link. And I was offered a much higher commission. But I did choose to go with Juki Junkies because I genuinely believe they offer the best service for me and for you. I think you'd be thrilled to bits with their customer service. So don't forget to use my code. It's Lee2022. And I'll put all their details in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. I plan to do a whole lot more with this new beautiful machine, which is my new little baby. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.